I'm gonna let you guys in on a little gaming ritual of mine. Let me know if you feel the same way or do any of the same things. When I'm sitting down to play a game for the first time, I need to have a coffee. That's number one. Gotta be on my caffeinated A game. Number two, desk has to be tidy. And number three, I gotta have a notebook with a pen and I'm writing down notes old school on who's who, what's what, where am I supposed to be going, what's going on. I gotta be keeping track of all of that. And that's no different from right now. I've got the coffee, the desk is clean, the journal is ready. We're checking out Black Geyser Couriers of Darkness. Some of you that are into really deep RPGs, you may have heard about this game. It was a Kickstarter in 2018, and then it went into early access August of 2021. Uh, we're taking a look at the full release here. And one of the things that I think is very important for these style of games is to really nail the story in the first 30 to 60 minutes. Like, what's going on? What's my driving motivation to continue? And does it suck me in? So that's really what I'm looking for uh, today. Thank you so much to Vicarious Publishing uh, for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate that. I always like doing these one-off looks because it enables me to get my eyes on a lot of different genres and games that I might not have time to play in full. This game's supposed to be over 60 hours long. Uh, knowing me, probably 100 hours. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to check this out with you guys. I'll have links down below, so if you're interested, in picking up the game for yourself and continuing on the adventure after you see the opener here, then uh, click those and you will be teleported magically to those spots. Now we could create a brand new class or we could just pick a predetermined one, which I think I will do. Uh, we've got a Dwarf Highlander, Elf Ranger, Feldegug Winter Mage, Human Fighter, Human Necromancer, Human Swindler, Templar, and a Rillo Shaman. I like the sounds of a Feldegug Winter Mage. Talented user of natural magic, he is trained to use the snow and stonewall spells. He deeply studied the arcane arts to enhance his spellcasting abilities. Let's do it. Okay. So we could go through a couple suggested suggested names. Uh, we've gone from Bjarti to Daniel. It's a very nice transition. Evald, Gunleaf. I like that. And then we got different voices here. Hmm. Hmm. Scoundrel voice. What? Where's the will? Brute. Yes. A... yes. Yes. I actually like that. I await your instructions. No. Nope. Speak your mind. Ooh. Dark. I think this one fits. I'm not going to like this, am I? <laughs> That's good. All right. Difficulty wise, um, story, classic, veteran, or courier. Uh, we'll stick on classic here. And then when you build your class, you could pick all of these different things, but we're just going to stick with this, uh, the predetermined stats for us here, and let's rock and roll. This is Gunleaf, a Feldegug, category Mortal Class Winter Mage. Let's rock and roll. Would you like to enable main quest guidance? Yes, please. I, I need the guidance. Big time. Oh, why didn't I look here first? And more to the point, why must I come fetch you for every little thing? So most of the, from what I understand, most of the main interactions are voice acted. If you go really deep into some of the extra dialogue options, not everything is going to be voice acted. Um, but you should be good to go with the vast majority. Sorry, uh, who are you supposed to be? Har har, you are so very droll. Ugh, you'd better hope Lord Espen is in as good a humor today. You do know this is the day the Lords of Isselbright are visiting. Ugh, please, don't answer. The Lords of Isselbright are visiting. The Lords are already here and waiting to be served. And for goodness sake, don't forget to gather your things from your chest before you come to table. Got it. Good music. Very, like... <laughs> You open up this and you're like, am I playing Pillars of Eternity? Maybe. Am I playing Baldur's Gate? Possibly. Received a quest to inspect the objectives of your progress during your quest. Click the operations button on the interface and press O. Uh, so we've got our main quest here. The Lords and Ladies of Isselbright arrived for an important conference at my Lord's estate. I was given the duty of serving drinks throughout the evening. I really should not mess this up. <laughs> Try me. 
Uh, side quest. Journal. Oh, I don't even need my own journal. Amazing. Add. Oh, this is really neat. So I could just type in, like, uh, a plethora of words. And then just add this as a separate entry. <laughs> and I presume this is all just scrollable. That's pretty cool. Okay. Compendium. We know what that is. Now, greed. This is something that I don't know how much is going to get touched on in this opener. But one of the core aspects of the game is that depending on how you make your choices throughout, it impacts this kind of global greed level that has uh, long-standing effects on the way things go out in the world. That's as much as I can say without spoiling anything. And even if I did spoil something, I wouldn't even know how to do that. So hopefully that's clear enough. You move your character using the left you mouse button. You can't be serious. Open the local map. We got that. Cool. The Espen Mansion. Orb of Mesmerizing Colors. South Gate, Main Gate. All right, cool. Presumably we could talk to these guys if we wanted. The, this globe reveals a kaleidoscope of swirling colors and vapors mesmerizing the viewer. Cool. Okay. Wait, did she just disappear? She'd probably, probably be a wizard. That's, you know... That's life out here. There's wizards, there's janitors, there's... You got them all. You got them all. Wizards to janitors. Make haste, Gunleaf. The guests are waiting. Okay, so where are we heading? Heading to my room. Move to the room by double-clicking on the highlighted area. Do note that there may be multiple containers inside the room to check. Yeah, they're really... You can't be serious. Really hand-holding the tutorial. I like that. Makes it pretty accessible to people that aren't that familiar with these types of games. This is a game that is going to feature uh, real-time combat. Oh, cool. Tab shows everything. What do we got here? Old damp robe. Some gold. And a scholar stick. Equip an item on your character. Here we go. I like it. This kind of gives me uh, Diablo vibes. Some of the font choices and just the inventory screen. That's cool. A little nostalgia. Go to the meeting room to find Berlin. What do we have here? Infusion of berry juice. Let's take. Okay. So, meeting room is over here. Now, if I was doing a full playthrough here, I would be checking all of it. All of this blue stuff, you can be sure I'm clicking it. Like here, three gold. Yeah, I'll take that. What a waste of time. Some woolen gloves? Absolutely. It's cold in here. Not no more, it isn't. Check anything along the way. Weak potion of healing? Okay. When are they gonna serve the food? Uh, here's Berlin. Hello! At last! Ugh, don't go twisting an ankle in all your hurry. <laughs> You take care of the drinks. Lord Wolcraft and Lady Larenthal prefer wine. Lord Joran would like ale. Lady Virulin and Lord Espen want mead. Go! Okay, hold on. Wolcroft and Larenthal, wine. Joran is ale. Virulin, Lord Espen, mead. If Look, if I don't write this down, it's not getting remembered. Like, I, I can't... You think I can remember five things? No. Uh... So, Woolcroft, wine, Larenthal, wine. This probably doesn't even matter. It might just happen automatically. Uh, Joran, ale, Varelin, and Espen, mead. Okay. Uh, the world of Yerengal holds plenty of spoils and riches. You may find them in containers of various sorts. Tab. Oh, I'm already way ahead of you. Clicking on container will command your character to open it. Click on the serving table to view its contents. Okay. So I've got ale, wine, and mead, I presume. Yeah, good. You can interact with other non-player characters. Clicking on them, the default mode of interaction for friendly and neutral characters is talking. Attacking is the default interaction for hostile characters. Click on a lord or lady to serve them their drink. Hello. Oh, okay, the Wolcroft. I was starting to wonder if you'd all fallen ill with the plague or something. Okay, I get it. I took a while to get here. 
Uh, he's a wine guy. Huh. Mm, that's okay. I hope he was. Oh, the carriage was quite stuffy, and my throat is sorely parched. Varelin is mead. Just what I wanted for a change. Love that. Hello. Espen. You're here, finally. Also mead. Some of the voices are really, really good. Ah, good. I could listen to this guy in bed. And I don't mean that sexually, or do I? Hello. Larenthal. Yes, yes, Wine. get on with it. I suppose you expect me to toss you a coin for doing your job. Okay, she has a very punchable voice. And Joram. Ale. Well, you know this is supposed to be served at room temperature. No, well, of course you don't. No one told me what any temperatures. They better be happy. Shall we do business, gentlemen? Gentle ladies? Yes, let's. We are convened to discuss the situation with Deron Gould. What has been rumored and suspected for so long has finally come to pass. A council of nobles with mining interests in the town have declared themselves independent from the crown of Isilmoral. Okay, so you know what would be really cool? I don't know if any game does this, but I love that this game does have a journal. When we're in a dialoguing uh, situation like this, how nice would it be to be able to like hit J, bring up the journal, and you've got a second little uh, screen over here and you can literally be taking any type of notes that you want while the dialogue is going. And then you could just make your choices, go back, take your notes. That would be amazing. You could even, you can even expand that to like click on a name or something and then it adds it to your journal and you could take additional notes. Just saying, developers, uh, that would be sick. I don't like this dirty business. Sending a list of grievances to the king. Sounds more like the actions of a bunch of uppity peasant farmers than nobility. There are ways these things are done. And there are ways that kingdoms may crumble. I understand your feelings on the matter, Lady Larenthal. But Darren Gould enjoys the sympathies of many important persons here in the North, and I number myself among them. What's more, there have already been defections among the Azimeral nobility, most recently Alnar. She speaks of your son, Lord Espen, who chose to forsake his birthright to join the rebels. Oh, okay, we got a little uh, family drama here. Ah, yes. Thank you, Lady Larenthal, for reminding me. And I'll thank you, Lady Viriling, not to speak his name on this estate, nor in my hearing again. Oh, why, I will... Okay, so he's totally... He's, it's, the son is cancelled. He's gone from the family. <laughs> but you won't. Whatever the loyalties of uh, the young Lord of House Espen, the southern <laughs> nobles have many legitimate complaints. Heavy. Some say ruinous taxation... Delayed shipments thanks to the Crown's regime of inspections and checkpoints. The King's insistence that Daron Gould's military, e even the town watch, must be trained in the North. Huh. It's quite a list. So they're like ruling with an iron fist. Yes, it's all very sad. I'm sure they toss and turn the night away on their beds of gold bars. <laughs> Taxation and bureaucracy are simply the facts of managing a prosperous nation, of keeping our enemies at arm's length. How long would their precious minds keep producing without the king's protection? Did you know I heard this rebellion was prompted in part by a belief making the rounds in Deron Gould that the king himself is cursed? Oh. Uh... By belief. Okay, so this is like a rumor. The king himself is cursed. <laughs> oh my! What exceptional nonsense! Okay, their reactions are telling me the king is definitely cursed. <laughs> Have they been breathing the fumes of their own minds? All right, very amusing. But like Lady Varellen, I am not unsympathetic to our southern friends. Surely some of Isildbright's rules and dictums could be culled, especially if it means avoiding war. A much more costly proposition than losing a handful of coin in taxes. You would think so. Wise counsel, my friend. 
but I fear the time for compromise is already past. The message from Daron Gould was deliberately provocative, leaving the king no way to negotiate or save face. The time has come, lords and ladies, for us to commit our forces and our purses to our rightful liege and crush Daron Gould. Loving it, or crushing. Throw in with the rebels. They have the gold, they have a well trained army, and most importantly, they control the mines. In a conflict of any significant length, having control of the source of the kingdom's metals means they must only outlast the North, rather than outright defeat her. Okay, so this guy is speaking sense. You there. What is your opinion on recent developments? You're asking me? You're asking the errand <laughs> boy? What does... Exactly. Kindly do not interrupt me while sitting at my uh -oh. table, Lady Larenthal. Well, speak up. I wonder, why is he asking me this? Is he testing me? They mu we must crush Darren Gould. Little experience political matters for me. The wisest course is silence. No, we're, we're gonna we're gonna do something here. Uh, peaceful resolution must always be best. Hmm. No, I'm gonna go with this. Whether or not Darren Gould has legitimate grievances is besides the point. They must be crushed. To do otherwise would invite rebellion from every quarter. Indeed, there is truth in what you say. I have often found fear to be a more useful asset than respect. Good to know. Good to know. What? My ladies, my lords, we are under attack. Please take shelter at once. Perhaps the cellar. You may wish to arm yourselves, my lords. They make no secret of their allegiance. They fly the banners of Daron Gu. Oh, see, we are a little too slow. We should have been a bit more proactive here. Do we know who leads them? That one was far at the back. All I could see of him was his vibrant red hair like a flame. Aldenar. Aldenar, okay. How much time do we have? Too little, I'm afraid. Their numbers are overwhelming. We were forced to fall back to the main gate, and they're already... Surely they will listen to reason, wherever they're from. One thing I think this game could improve upon, uh, with, with just dialogue stuff, is when a character's getting cut off, they have the dash at the end, it should automatically cut them off and go to the next uh, thing, just to kind of keep that, that tension. They won't kill us out of hand like so many soldiers. They wouldn't dare, right? Calmly, my friends. Let's all go out to meet them. They're not bandits, after all. Uh, the music tells me this is battle time, so... Yes, go ahead. You have my blessing to speak on my behalf, if it's of any use. You? What? Where are you going? Come with me. Make haste. Why? Okay, so there's... I'm I'm not just an errand boy here. There's something going on. And this guy obviously knows. If I must. Because otherwise, there's no reason for him to call on me now or before. You and you lot with me. What is it, my lord? That sound. The main gate has already been breached. The house of Espen is about to fall to the agents of Daron Gould. Now, never mind that. Just follow. And you, prepare whatever spells you know. Surely oh, cool. your magical tutoring must be good for something. Gods know it cost enough. So I wonder if I was not like a spellcaster, if he would say something different there. I don't know how to prepare spells. Is there a way I can see what these skills do? Weapons, skills. I have magical perception. Okay, maybe it'll just teach us. What a us. waste of time. Watch your step around our guests. Combat has started. You're free to stay out of the fight this time around. Soldiers of the estate can handle themselves. If you decide to engage the attackers, clicking on them will send your character to attack. Or pressing left control on your keyboard. During combat, some spells and abilities may cause combatants to be affected by status effect. Each turn takes five seconds to pass on default speed. 
Let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't need to be in there. I don't need to be in there. Can I cast Fortress on this guy? Yes, I can. I imagine that just makes him tougher. Fortress. Stonewall. Oh. Oh. That's actually sick. Okay. I'm learning my abilities, okay? It's Hello. not the cleanest. He wants to make haste. Aware. That must be like a slow of some kind. If I must. As long as I'm not getting targeted here, we should be fine. Now this is I'm I'm guessing we're gonna have to rest in order to get our spells back. Guard this door with your life. Gun leave, come with me. Okay, there's why are we so special to this dude? Now listen to me. Listen closely. This is important. The Lady Espen was the love of my life. Okay. My one love. There was nothing arranged about our betrothal. Right, so... and? You were never so lucky as to meet her yourself. But if you had, she... Gods damn these Derongles slime. What? Behind me is my dressing chamber. Go fetch my sword from there. <laughs> okay. Time is short. Well, all right. Let's go. What? <laughs> Search all the rooms. Found you at last, father. Didn't figure you would try and hide from your fate. To be betrayed by my own son. Who wouldn't hide from such a terrible end? I've learned a few things, you see. Things your priests and man-at-arms could never teach. I have gained a new perspective. Seen the truth of this world. So... You were not even paid in coin to turn traitor against your own house. Only pretty words. Kill me if you wish. But I promise it will avail you nothing. Every man pays for his sins, my son. And the price of a sin such as this... Well... I... <laughs> hope they Game of Thrones this right now. Enough of your piety. It sickens me. But your last decision, at least, is the correct one. Hold still. They're doing it. They're doing Father. it. They're doing it. <gasps> They're doing it. They're doing it. Are they doing it? <gasps> I think they're doing it. Don't worry, my child. Your hardships are over for today. What? There was an there's a Ned Starking that occurs. Okay, there's more to us, right? We're not just some humble servant. They'd spent money to train Get us up, in combat. Boy. So it's time to go to bed. What is going on? Lord Espen, he, I have to go back. Oh come now, you'll be staying right here in my hut. It looks like you suffered a nasty blow to the head. How did I get here? I brought you here. But no more questions for tonight. There's a cot over there. You should try to get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow will be a very, very long day. You can send your character to rest by clicking the rest button. Resting will replenish some of your character's health and restore spell and ability uses. Beware though, sleeping out in the wilds comes with the risk of attracting the beasts and rough faces in the area. Seeking out the sleeping at inns uh, is a safer and more comfortable option. Okay. Wake up, lazy. Always sleeping, this one. Must have been raised by dream wraiths. What, dream wraiths? Oh, I'd rather not explain, and you'd rather not know. You'll find out later if you do what you should anyway. Speaking of which... Now, how about you make yourself useful and weed the garden? <laughs> 
Uh, can't you tell I'm grieving? My liege was killed by his own son, Aldnar, the redhead. Busy hands will dry your tears, boy. Now, I'll be making a stew this evening, and you'll be helping. I'll need you to find some things for us. Take a look at this list. Once you've read it, let me know, please. Okay, to read the list you were given, open your character's inventory. Ingredient list. We need to gather a handful of bruise root, one brown stem mushroom, and a slab of fox meat. Bruise root. Okay, I can do that, I suppose. Um, let's see, how does this track things? Oh, it's actually... Okay, so we're under attack by whom? I don't understand how I ended up here. Oh, I see. So we go basically from I must follow and protect my lord with my life to boom, we're here now. Feel awfully tired. Maybe I really do need sleep. Crone wants me to help her gather ingredients for the stew she's making. I mean, I guess I don't really have a choice. Do I? Oh, good, good. You know how to read. I have something that will help you gather what we need without hurting yourself too much. Here, put these on. You're given an item with special attributes. When worn, such items may modify your character's attributes, skills, or even grant them entirely new spells and abilities. All right, we have some gardening gloves. Uh, we get a bonus to brewing and drying. Thick pair of leather gloves with a faint magical aura. No matter how much they're washed, they always seem to smell like dirt. Okay, cool. I appreciate when games have this. It's subtle, but they just update your, uh, your avatar as well. Brewing and drying offers the ability to craft potions and powders from various ingredients collected throughout Yeringal. Potions... I'm not done. Uh, potions can mostly be consumed for a set of positive effects or healing, while powders can be thrown at or planted on enemies for a set of negative effects or damage. Crafting potions and powders from advanced ingredients and at higher heat levels will require investing some points into this skill. Each point of intelligence increases by 1%, dexterity and focus by 0.5, Brewing and drying by four. All right, sweet. Good. You put your gloves on just like the rest of us. All fingers at the same time. Why does she talk to me like I'm five? You weren't trying to put them on one finger at a time, were you? No. Good, good. Now off with you. When you've got everything on the list, come back, and I'll get to making that stew. By the way, be careful of the creatures in the forest. They can be a bit bitey. Take this stuff as well. It should come handy should you need to protect yourself. Okay. So she gave us a staff. I like this auto compare. This is really cool. Now this is a quarter staff compared to a magic staff. Attack time is lower than what we have, which is nice. Uh, it's less focus. That's probably not as good. Focus is uh, one of our core attributes here. Increases aim and accuracy. Chance to dodge, block, and evade interruption. Uh, but it's already quite high. Critical chance, 1% versus 0. Yeah, okay. So how does this work? I put it into, like, a, a quick slot, it looks like. Can I swap these? Looks like I can. Okay. Okay, what else is in here? Agatha's Weevil. I'm taking it. Powder of Annoyance. And... Ovkache. Time... Traits for Brewing. There's this minimum heat level. I don't know what that means. It must be crafting related. Light Leather Armor. Oh, yeah. We should probably throw this on. Oh, maybe we can't. Winter Mage can't use light armor. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. You can't be serious. Got a couple potions here. Potion of healing. Potion of cure all. And it grants fortified. I love this. I love when games do this. You hover over the thing in the text and it just tells you more about it. Increased resistance to poison and acid effects. All right. And we have an infusion of berry juice recipe. Place two potions of ovkache into a cauldron, then let them infuse for eight hours. All right. I'm out. We need to find a few things. Open your map to find the ingredients requested by the crone. 
Spider colony, conspic conspicuous bush. Who is this? Yes. <laughs> My character's voice is so good. <laughs> yes. Greetings, fellow traveler. I am Volindir. Please forgive me if I seem confused. I am not well just now. The Druidic Order sent me to heal this forest. There's an invasive species of spider I am to cleanse, but they have unfortunately got the better of me. I've been severely bitten. They are venomous as well. I cannot continue. I considered approaching the cabin, but I was repulsed. The yellow spiders are destroying the natural balance in this area. I am too weak to fight them now, but perhaps you could finish this good work on my behalf. That's right, yes, I will obviously handle everything. Uh... <laughs> and you just attack him? How'd you become poisoned? A whole group of the little demons pounced on me at the same time and dealt me multiple bites. This foreign species venom is more potent than that of our local arachnids. The wounds are not mortal. I thankfully took the antidote in time, but I shall be dizzy and weak for a while yet. Tell me more about the spiders. Different chapters of my order have been reporting a disturbing trend in Yerengal's forest. New and previously unknown species are moving in and mindlessly devouring and destroying our natural resources. Normally, I would say that greed is a concept unknown to such simple creatures, yet the coordinated manner in which they are driving out the local fauna and hoarding food and territory to no purpose strongly suggests that is the motivator. They must be driven out before the damage becomes irreparable. Yeah, okay. I'll clear him out. Thank you for serving the Green Mother. There are four places in the forest where the infestation is thickest. A colony to the north and south, another bunch of near conspicuous bush. <laughs> that word is very hard to say. Also to the south, and one by the old bridge in the west. Okay. Let's find some spiders, and also all the other stuff. Okay, we have a bunch of potions. Uh, the cure-all... Increases resistance to poison and acid. So we should probably... Just drink one of these. Shouldn't we? Drink. So now we have fortified. You can't be serious. Yellow spider. There we go. <laughs> oh, if I right-click these... Okay. Conjure the very elemental essence of cold and throw it at someone you don't like. Four to five cold damage scales up to level nine. In stone wall, sometimes you need a good thick wall to solve your problems. Creates one of those, which blocks movement. Okay. Yeah, keep hammering. It's just oh spiders. God. It shouldn't be a huge problem. Nice job. Nice job. Okay, what do we have here? Brown stem mushrooms. Moon glider. White writher. They're disgusting. Am I... Oh, I am poisoned. No! I'm frail. Oh my god. I'm very weak. Very weak. Potion of healing. Let's go. I could probably put these in my bars. What a I waste assume. of time. Okay, yeah, you're you're a beefy little worm. Will this guy help me, I wonder? Oh, did I cancel? I might have canceled. Okay, let's see if we can just fight. This may not have been the optimal class to pick because holy smokes. What's berry juice? Five health? Looks like it's over time. Lexus <laughs> it's pretty cool. I like this skill. Obviously, this is suboptimal usage, but. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we should have probably picked like a uh, more if aggressive tanky class. But that's fine. We're just learning. Uh, down here. Let's go. 
Slay the fox wandering the area to collect its meat for the crone. You can do this by ordering a character to attack it, then looting its corpse. Spellcaster characters may alternatively use an offensive spell from their memorized spells situated on the quick slots. Yeah, I've, I've sort of done that. Can I... What if I just rested here to get my spells back? Well, then it's nighttime. All right. It's probably... Oh. Oh. It's shattered. That is actually sick. Okay. Well, all right. Now, I don't know how how reliable that would be, that we can just... Oh, there's the bruise root. Okay, so hold on. Bruise root, fox meat. Oh, and the mushroom. Okay, cool. We're good. But this guy wanted us to clear spiders, right? So why don't we look for the spiders, and then we can help him, and we'll go back to her, and we're laughing. Down with you, down! Okay, now we're clobbering. I like the spell effects. Specifically, this uh, this shatter is really cool. Let's clean this up. And we'll just scan uh, the rest of the area very here. Well. Okay, can we handle three of them? We're gonna find out. I wish I could kind of cast a regular attack at range instead of having to go in close. Am I gonna get poisoned here or am I already? Yep. Okay, we're gonna have to heal again. Oh, and then... Let's do this, too. There we go. So I appreciate that they're kind of setting us up with, like, a really... Like, a couple of basic tasks here. A little gathering quest. Ready yourself for the next world. Teaches us that we have um, some side quests out there yes, if we want them. I'm not going to... If I must... Oh, what are these? That's cool. More spiders. Don't you dare get blood on me. Now we're talking, buddy. Now we're talking. Okay, so control, when you hit it, um, it switches you to this attack icon. And then to switch back, I'm right-clicking. I was wondering why it wasn't uh, letting me move afterwards, and that's why. So we have to get out of attack mode. Okay, let's see if that's all of them. We'll talk to Spider Boy here, who did absolutely nothing. Hello. The yellow spiders, are they all slain? Uh, yes, they are. Thank you for your help. I need more time to recuperate... But I believe I will recover eventually. Take this antidote. I've had more than I need already. Now that the spiders are gone, you will make better use of it, I'm sure. Uh, we could leave it for him. Who knows what perils you might face. Thank you. It's good to be prepared. I don't need a vial of your spit mixed with herbs. Your other gear will come in handy, however. Yeah. You... I am barely able to stand, but nevertheless, I shan't take your threat lying down. If you're hoping for easy riches, you're about to be disappointed. Is he going to fight me? Oh, he's going to absolutely wreck me. Oh, my pride. He's going to kill me. He's a wizard, man. <laughs> he's a wizard. Don't. Okay. Lesson learned. Less, I'm a weakling out here, okay? I'm a weakling. We don't lip off to randoms when we're a weakling. Okay, so uh, let's, let's try this again. Uh, we're not going to irritate him. And let's just, you know, keep it for yourself. That's fine. I'll mention you when I report this great success. Yeah, that's better. So now we can level. Yes. Okay. So once you're uh, on your character sheet, you can spend points to improve your character's general skills, class skills, and weapon skills. You can add or remove points from skills using the arrows. Wizard characters may also spend new points on new spells. 
Okay. So learning and research. Uh, brewing and dying. Let's go learning and research. Class skills. Arcane studies. Magical perception. Let's go arcane studies. And then weapons, rods and staffs. We're going to take that. You can't be serious. What do we have here? Spell books. Okay. So we got snow. That's cool. Let's throw some of these into our favorites, I suppose. Um. Oh, I'm like removing these. I see. Okay. Okay. I don't know if that does anything different, me putting them in here. I don't think so. Table of learning, memorizing, casting spells. They need to be memorized before they can be cast. You can open the spell book by pressing V or by clicking the highlighted icon. Okay. Uh, you can see your spells your character has on the left side of the spell book. You can see spells your character has memorized on the right side of the spell book. Your character has a number of spell slots to fill, depending on their character level. Occupied spell slots can be freed by clicking their icons in the spell books. Unoccupied spell slots can be filled by clicking on the icon of the available spell on the left side. Okay. As your character grows, higher levels of spells will become available for them to use. You can browse between various spell levels by the level selector at the top of the spell book. Base and elevated spell levels, spells of a level can be viewed separately. Click their tabs to switch between them base energy or elevated energy and then the levels okay gotcha if i must okay so let's go in and turn in you the goods be serious. the hero returns with a fresh harvest it's all there yes perfect how can you tell what's in my pack and what is it oh let's say it's just a feeling like everything is where it should be or if this is easier to accept, I've spent many long days sniffing around, so my nose knows. Okay. Is there any sort of reward for doing this chore for you? Careful, son. Careful. Greed can have unintended consequences these days. Referencing the greed system. In any case, of course, there it is. You get to eat tonight. Now let's have a look at what you brought. What? What's this? Did you forget to make these herbs edible, child? Come now, you must try them to bring out the flavor. Surely you've cooked before. No. I have to wonder what that Lord Espen even had your tutors teach you at his fancy estate. Oh, uh, well, take this candle and get to drying. Okay. Various materials collected in the world may serve as ingredients for crafting. Plants, mushrooms, fruits, and insects can be brewed into potions or dried and crushed into powder. Besides the fresh materials, you need tools to perform these actions. A cauldron for brewing and a heat source like candles or a lantern for drying. To begin drying, you first need to open your inventory screen. Drying. The top of the drying tab, you can see your collection of ingredients. Click, then move them into the highlighted drying slots to continue. Bruise root. And mushrooms. To switch between ingredients and heating devices. Oh, cool. Okay. Select the heating device and move it into the highlighted heating slot. Click start drying. Your ingredients are now dried. Your candle has been consumed in the process. Lanterns, on the other hand, can be used indefinitely. They also enable the use of various heat levels. Click the start crushing button. Crush these ingredients into powder. Unlike brewing and drying, crushing takes a short while to finish. You can see a little progress bar there. Click the collect button to place the powders you made into your inventory. Okay. So now we whipped up brown stem mushroom powder. Not very useful by itself, but may enhance some depressive effects. Okay. And this one? Powder of annoyance? No. Powder of soothing? Is that what we made? Maybe we just made this one thing. Good, good, well and dried. Give That's me That's a neat a little system there. I don't know if I've played a game with that type of drying and crushing. There, it's on the fire. Now we have a few precious <laughs> moments to spare. <clears throat> About talking. <laughs> Stop with the riddles, old woman. I've completed your tasks and you'll answer my question. Or we have some, like, attribute-based options as well. Oh, you think you've completed my task? Hmm? What do you think I had you do them for? That's a great question. You're trying to teach me something. 
Very good. I think you already have the hang of it, but in case that was a fluke, the idea is this. Taking the time and effort to gain knowledge or even learning to talk will benefit you greatly in the difficult times ahead. Pay close attention to what you might uncover in conversations through wit or charm. Okay, yeah, I get it. Valuable lesson. I'm glad you find it to be. Now, I'm certain you have more questions. Perhaps I can continue being instructive. Yeah, why'd you save me from the assault? I kept an eye on Lord Espin. He was a force of balance in Is Isilmereld. His death means that balance has failed. And it so happens that I have a soft spot for young people of potential. You were in the wrong place at the wrong time, and I saw it a chance to aid you. Which means she must have been monitoring us, I presume? Maybe she's, like, working with the guy? Maybe? Maybe? Why is it you're keeping me here and making me do all this? You weren't ready for Aldnar's attack at his father's manor, and I don't believe you were ready for the chaos of the world as it was when I pulled you from it. You're here to keep you safe, and to make sure that you're ready for the next calamity you find yourself in. Who are you, really? I'm afraid that is one question I cannot answer for you. It's easiest to say that I am someone you were meant to meet. I'm here to set you on your way toward what you must accomplish. What is it that I must accomplish? <laughs> Pardon me, I misspoke. There are two questions I cannot answer for you. Great. Is the stew ready? Yes, yes, almost ready indeed. Now, there's something you should know. When you leave here, the world you knew yesterday will be gone. What? The attack on the Espen estate was only the first spark of a consuming fire, I am afraid. Much will be lost to strife and war. There are worse things than war, We're gonna though. walk outside, it'll be there literally hell. There is something you hell. must understand before you leave here. A great and terrible curse has fallen over Isilmerald and much of the rest of Yerengal. It drives men and women to madness. It starves the prince and turns the pauper to a life of desperation. It is the essence of avarice itself. A curse of greed spreads through the land. Is this another metaphor? No, no, greed. A terrible covetousness <laughs> that hides in mortal hearts. It is among the darkest of dreams. But this is no normal greed, no. There is magic behind it. No mere apprentice's catch-up either. It is most dangerous. And you must understand that. Ah, the stew is done now. Just let it cool. Man, she gives me such heavy Diablo vibes. It's really weird. Like, in a good way. You know, almost comforting. Getting a good look at you now. You're a bit of a magician, aren't you? But yeah, I mean, sort of. I can make it snow. Fair assessment of your abilities? Yes, yes. You have much to learn. Let's get you started. Here, take this. It's a scroll containing a spell for you to learn. Give it a read. Hell yeah. Open the scroll's description to learn it. Uh, fever. Base slot. Spell sends a uh, spell-induced fever to attack its target, causing a sense of intense heat engulfing the body. Inflicts weakness, throbbing, and toasting. Wish I could hover in here and see that, too. Scribe spell. Very good. I see the look of recognition in your eyes. You know a new spell. You must learn as many as you can. I say this with care. Magic will keep you alive, but may also hold unforeseen dangers. Now, there's a trap in this room, ready to give you a little scare if you aren't careful. Go see if you can find a disarmament. No time to waste. I saw down here a trap detected. Spotted a trap. The magical perception skill can be used by wizards to find and disarm traps with magical components. To use your skill, open the skills bar above the portrait now. Uh, portrait row. Then click the magical perception button to commence using this skill. Magical Perception. Click on the trap's highlight, and your character will head toward it and disarm it. The closer your character is to a trap, the higher the sense they will, the higher the chance they'll sense it. So it's proximity based. Finding one is easier than disarming it. You might find your character unable to disarm traps they've detected. You can try again with a greater success after investing more into this skill. All right. Very good. The freezing enchantment on the trap was but a mere nuisance. Other devices like it may not be as gentle. As a wizard, you'll be running across many peculiar things on your journeys. Some will mean you harm, 
but you have the senses to spot them in time. Ah. But what was it that we- oh, yes. The stew! The crone. The stew! It's cooked and cooled. Here, boy. This will warm you up after a long, long day. I see that look in your eye again. No. No more questions for today. Eat your stew and get some rest. Okay. Uh... Okay. Do I have a- do I have stew? Did you give me stew? Nope. You did not. The crone told me to have some rest. Okay, maybe I just rest. Good morning. I fear that our time together is nearing an end. Yeah. Cool. I, I still don't really understand what we're... She's very... Mysterious and aloof. Merely passing the time. Just a bit of it. I needed to be certain that you were ready to face the world. What do I need to be ready for? Oh, conflict is to be expected everywhere you go. Great things are coming. More I cannot say. No, no. So am I ready? Oh, yes, yes. As ready as one can be. Is that all? Yes, that is the gist of it. Things were put in motion all over Yerengel since I plucked you from your father's house. You are insane, old woman. Perhaps, perhaps. I have been here alone too long. Hmm. I'm not even human. He couldn't be my father? Pardon, child. I don't wish to explain to you how babies are made. I trust you know, but your mother was indeed not a human. The deity of, Z of Yerengal were your mother's midwives. They had a purpose in mind for you, and they had to secure your safety so that you could live up to that purpose. You were born into a treacherous world, my dear. It was very important you not be recognized as Espen's heir before the... Okay. Okay. That makes so much more sense. <laughs> As the gods peered through the veils of the void, they saw that a Feldegug child is made for survival, possessing the fortitude to overcome hardships, both mental and physical. That is why you were formed so perfectly in the image of your mother. As well, the closely guarded secret of your mother's connection to Lord Espen ensured your safety until now. We haven't the time to go into this story in greater detail, but you were the true heir of Lord Espen. Knowing this should be enough. Now you understand why Lord Espen paid you so much attention despite your servitude. We knew something was weird. The other servants surely did not receive the same education or the same favors, nor did anyone else in that house, excepting your half-brother, Aldnar. Love that. Took away my only family. He did, and that is the world I must send you back into, one where the sole heir of Lord Espen committed patricide, one unaware yet hostile to your existence. Huh. So he doesn't know about us. He probably just assumes we were some servant, never really thought about it. This is all too much. I have no idea where I am. My father was Lord Espen and the Curse of Greed you mentioned before. Yes, child. But you are ready for the world now. You will succeed. Okay. Or perhaps you will fail. But I think at least you will fail well. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, thanks for the sage advice. Now you must go face the world, Gunleaf. I have enjoyed our time together. You will find the path clear. Be safe, my child. Travel to Isilbright. World Greed grew by 50? First, I need to find out what really happened back at the estate. Finding someone to tell me where I am right now would be a good start. So this greed level, you can see it increasing here. The curse of greed currently affects the world of Yerengal faintly. It can barely be felt, but those with a keen sense might start to feel its effect. Costs of living are on the rise throughout Yerengal, and albeit ever so slightly, some can feel the winds of change. What a waste of time. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, we need to go to... Izzel... Where is it? You Izzel, can't right. be serious. Do we just like... Yeah, here we go. We just leave. So we're here, I guess, at the hidden cabin. The only thing I can get to is Merchant's Road. This is neat. Formations can greatly improve the effectiveness of your party. Yeah, we haven't even touched on getting people into the party. I don't know how many different people we can get in there, but, like, I assume we could have five or... Well, look, yeah, we could have five. We have five slots going. Amazing. Characters gain enough to level up again. Yes. Let's do this. Just throw these in here. And we can actually learn new spells now. Inflicts panic. Silence and distraction. Ride the lightning. 
Severin Sparkle. Go Lightning. Oh, wait. I can do more. Death Pulse. That's cool. You All right. Can't be Guys, I think that's a pretty good little overview of what you can expect. Uh, this is just the very, very beginning of the game. And uh, I, I'm pleasantly surprised. This is on par with, like, Baldur's Gate, Pillars of Eternity, so far. Anyways, I think my only very nitpicky complaint would be that some of the voice acting is a little inconsistent in... Maybe volume, or you could tell it was recorded in a different room or something like that. Um, and when the characters are all talking one after the other, you kind of notice that at that, that opening scene. Um, but the voice acting is pretty good. I like the animations. The character styles seem cool. This is probably going to be very, very deep. And uh, real-time combat is challenging. I know there are some options in here somewhere for pause. Yeah, so you can pause on character death or on combat start, trap detected, enemy every time an enemy dies, whenever an ability finishes. These are all kind of things that would help you if you're not used to that real-time combat, which can what be really difficult. Uh, I would probably recommend if you're starting a game like this for the very first time, I would recommend uh, playing some type of tanky like fighter class uh, instead of a more dainty spellcaster because. You're just going to be in trouble a lot more if you don't have any allies. So, yeah. Anyways, really enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll have links down below if you want to check it out in more detail. Uh, again, thank you to Vicarious Publishing for uh, sponsoring the video. That means a lot that you're supporting the channel. And uh, it makes me show you guys tons of different games that I would never normally get my hands on. So, yeah, I appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, if you have any questions, drop them down below. I'm sure the, the devs and the publisher will be watching, and uh, would be happy to answer you. So, have a good one, guys. This is Black Geyser. We'll see you very soon in the next one.